Hey developers, today we're going to look at a course called Before You Learn Programming, What Will Help You Succeed. It's a pretty cool Udemy course. I want to talk to you guys about it, do a quick mini review on it, and uh, we'll talk more about it. So let's begin. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer, and also I'm the author of the Vue.js in action. And as always, I'll put a link in the description below for that book. So if you guys want to get the first chapter of that for free, you can click on that. And by the way, this course I'm reviewing, 100% disclaimer here, I do get a few bucks if you buy it. I'll include the link in the description below. That really helps me out if you click on that link and buy this course. It's really cheap. What's really cool is Udemy is doing one of their many sales. So you can get it for, I think, $10 or $11. So check out the sale. If you click on the link below, or I'll include a few other links to some of my other favorite Udemy courses. So you guys can click on any of those. And if you buy any of them, like I said, I get a few bucks. I'm an affiliate. So thank you for that. But I will say that this course itself was recommended to me in one of the comments. So I thought I would go ahead and buy it and look through it and tell you what my thoughts were. So this course is a little bit unique. It's not a boot camp type course where it's going to teach you in 40 hours all the fundamentals of creating a, a website. It's not going to teach you the fundamentals of HTML and JavaScript or anything like that. What it's going to do is it's going to tell you what you need to learn before you start programming. And you may think, well, I don't need to learn anything. You know, I've been interested in programming for so long. I want to get into the industry. So I'm talking to you people that aren't already programming. But even if you are programming, this is still an interesting topic. So there's this idea of like whenever you go out and try to learn something, there is ways that you can learn something with a little more structure, with a little bit more thought behind it and it increases the chances of you being successful in something. So well, that's where this course comes in handy. So really, you can actually apply a lot of the fundamentals of this course to anything you're trying to learn. And then there's some things that are programming specific. So let me show you the section. So there is six sections in here. You see here, there's 38 lectures, about three hours of content. And the uh, it's really not, it's, it's a, it's a good program but it's not you know it's crazy long it's not like we're talking about a 40 hour video course here as of this recording it has just a handful of students by the way i don't know this person that that created the course but from everything i can tell he seems to be an expert in it, it looks his name is zubin protap if we look a little bit closer we can find that uh he is He's done 15 years of corporate law. He has an MBA, and then he decided to learn to code. So he's a completely self-taught programmer. And then he had to approach learning programming in a certain way, and this is kind of what he learned. So he said he kept a journal of things I wish I'd known and that they were false and kept discouraging me. And this is basically how he learned. So this is the roadmap that he took. Now, this is not going to be you know, learn this technology, then learn this technology, although he does touch on that. It's more of like mindset and the psychology behind learning. So the first part in section one is the intro. And this this part is really a lot about mindset. So he talks about like, you're not alone, but what you need to do is, I think you're not alone section is that he has some sort of um, program that you can get in hold of him through LinkedIn or Twitter if you have any questions. He also has a website called matchfitmastery.com that he it's on all the slides. I checked out the site. Looks like he's still working on it, but you can kind of check it out. You can put your email address in it and he'll contact you about his courses and future courses. Then he goes into uh, after he talks about just like the basis setting up the course, he talks about some kind of more like psychological ways of approaching learning. So the five W's and one H that's like who, what, when, where, and why, and then the how. So before you start any type of learning journey, it's a good idea to figure out your goals, like who, you, why you're doing things, what you want to accomplish and how you're going to accomplish it. So if you want to get into programming or web development, well, why are you getting into it? That's a really important question. Are you trying to get a better job? Are you trying to change careers? 
uh, how are you going to get into it? What are you going to do? Uh, so there's a lot of things like that that you need to think about before you jump into a into this type of career into into programming. And he has each section kind of goes over that. So the who, the when, where, um, and then deadlines and, and timelines. So those are all like how do you structure? Why are you learning? What are your goals? What what are your deadlines? What are your timelines? Things that you really should think about before you start in such a big endeavor like learning to program because it is very difficult. I mean, there is these people that were able to learn to program in three months and, and got a great job. But for most people, it's going to take weeks and or months to get there. So having this kind of framework in mind before you start is perfect. And especially if you're doing the self-taught route, which means that you're going to have to do this all internally, having these in, kept having these things in mind before you start is great. And he also has quizzes and kind of gives you kind of outlines of what you should do so that way you can be successful. The second part is about myths that hold you back. So I think if you're completely new to programming, these are probably common things that you will see. Like I've heard this a million times. You don't need to be, you don't need to know computer science or have a computer science degree to get into coding or programming. You don't need to be a math whiz. Um, a lot of people think it's too hard for them or that it's too nerdy and boring. So he kind of goes over the common myths. And then number three is fundamental decision. Section three, that is. So this one, I this section I think is a little bit more uh, not as strong as the other sections. So this one is like, what what tools should you get? Like, how should you pick up a, a programming language? I mean, one little nugget of, of information is you want to learn the fundamentals of programming and not necessarily worry too much about the language at first. In other words, you want to pick a good beginner language that teaches you the fundamentals of programming. And I think we can all agree like JavaScript, Python, Ruby, or Java, kind of fit the top of that list. He even links back to the Stack Overflow 2018 survey to give an idea of, of what's in the industry and, and what you can expect. And then what tools, IDEs, and then how to prioritize your skills. Now the last two sections more go into the psychology, again, of how to learn and how to be successful when you jump into something like learning to program. So this can be almost applied to everything you're trying to learn. So he talks about the MED, which is like the minimum effective dose. So depending on what you're learning, like something like programming, maybe you have niched down to a simple like programming language that you want to learn. What's the minimum amount that you need to learn to be successful? And then also when you pick your learning format, so are you doing YouTube videos? Are you doing Udemy courses like the one you're watching right now? Uh, well, you're watching YouTube right now, but if you happen to buy this course, like you're watching that course, are how effective are they? How do you measure how effective they are? Are you recalling the subject and information? So there's a lot of things you kind of got to think about when you're trying to uh, when you're trying to learn. And then, so if you're taking this minimum effective dose, make sure that the learning format is is to what you need to what you need to do to be successful. That is, and then how to avoid certain pitfalls. And then there there's I'm not going to give you too many spoilers, but there's a lot of talk about practice. There's a lot of talk about uh, learning from experts. Um, you don't have to learn from experts. You can learn from people who are just a little bit above you, um, how to pace yourself, and uh, then, of course, the conclusion in this section. Also, I I'd like to say um, they this is all pretty comprehensive. They're all like five or six-minute videos, but they're jam-packed with information in them. So section five uh, is another very um, thought process, thought progression but actionable that you can do to learn to program so you're going to obviously come up with some objections and challenges so he talks about like how do you get past them and some of this is just like how do you get how do you get past like self-doubt i mean this is happens to all of us the imposter syndrome things like that and he also gives you some techniques and how to get past it and how do you become how do you get past uh, confusion because as we know if you ever looked at some of those charts of everything you need to learn to become a web developer, assuming you want to become a web developer, there's like a million different things you can learn from uh, everything in the front end, SAS, CSS, HTML, JavaScript, preprocessors, uh, Gulp, 
uh, Babel. I mean, you can just keep going and deeper and deeper, all the different frameworks. So it, it can become overwhelming. And how do you not let that become overwhelming? And it has a lot to do too, going back to section one and on how you're approaching your goals and what you're trying to accomplish. And some little, little bit of psychology stuff, getting stuck, like what do you do? You're, you're, it's a lot of times you're going to have to know that you are going to get stuck. How do you get past that? Knowing that, um, that you're not Zuckerberg and it's very difficult and it's usually not great to compare yourselves to other people. That's what section 34 is all about. So, um, to reframe it in your head that when, if you do compare yourselves to the others, you have it more of a positive spin and rather than seeing someone else that's 10 times farther than you, you can be like, well, this person over here, if they can do it, I can learn how to do it. It's so easy to become a programmer nowadays. Um, things like that. And then wrapping up, I, I like this last picture. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> he has like a little, little party hat, just like, congratulations, you did it, which is, is funny. And I think it's a good way to end this course. So Overall, what do I think about this course? At first, I was a little hesitant. I thought maybe it wasn't that great at first because I saw this match fit mastery and I thought maybe it was more of a of just some kind of way to opt in people to get into that website. But after watching nearly all of it, I did miss a f I think I missed a few sections and a few I skimmed over. I really like it. You know, I think this is a subject that as a self-taught developer, especially if you're in the self-taught developer, or, or even if you're a developer that has some experience, trying to think about these things before you start learning is going to be that make you that much more successful. I think some t some of these things will come absolutely naturally to some people. Some people approach a subject and they're just they have this the mind and, and the process of they open an Excel spreadsheet and they start a learning path from the beginning, and they they everything they learn they're they're doing and and they're recalling it and they know exactly go from A to B to C. But I think for most people, especially when you're learning something, something so big as this, having at least an idea or an outline and to come up with some common pitfalls of what you run into is a great idea to succeed. I would almost venture to say that most people that try to get into programming probably fail. Uh, I know that's harsh to say, but I think it's just, it is hard. And especially if you're going the self-taught route, you're going to have to have so much self-discipline that it's going to be really difficult. So I think a course like this is great. You know, it's it's not too long. You could probably get through this in a quick afternoon. Um, I think he even recommends to take a little bit longer between the sections and fill out the quizzes and then have a little more thoughtful process behind it. But you can even, if you wanted to tear through this, get through it through an afternoon. It's only like 11 bucks, 10 bucks if you get it on sale. So I would highly recommend it. Yeah, I would check it out. And like I said, if you do check it out, make sure you use the link in the description below and then I get a few bucks and you also help out the author, which is awesome. Hey, so before I go, I wanted to say one other thing. Uh, there is a, a video I did just last Friday called How to Set Up Circle CI in Your Next Project, View React to Angular. I think this is a great tutorial, at least a good starting tutorial. And I have the GitHub in here too of how to start on Circle CI. And if you don't know, that's a tool to to set up any of your Vue, React, Angular, Java projects, whatever you're looking for, to easily uh, run your tests, to deploy them, to scale them. If you're in an organization that doesn't have a continuous delivery, continuous integration, this is a perfect tool. And even if you're just, if you're one of those people that are just getting into web development and programming, and you're starting to build projects, pick up Circle CI because you might find out that CI/CD. DevOps might be a fun career opportunity and having these skills is going to help you out. So I would, I'm going to leave a link to this video in the description below so you guys can check it out. Circle CI have been awesome to me. So I just want to keep kind of promoting this and hoping get, getting the word out on this video because I, I think it's really helpful. And uh, I really don't see that many other videos on how to set up like continuous integration and how to like take your projects, run the tests against them, how to deploy them to Firebase. So I would, I would, uh, I would check out this video, and I'll make sure I put a link in the description below. If you guys have any questions about this course, uh, this course here, or anything I've said in this video, make sure you leave a comment below. Last couple of videos haven't got much comments. I want to make that different this one. So I will give away this course to one person, uh, maybe two. I want to give away randomly, probably um, next week, 
I'll go ahead and give away two courses to a random person. I want you to do a few things though. One is make sure you comment on the video, make sure you subscribe to the video as well, and make sure you thumbs up it. That's all three things you need to do. Make sure you subscribe, thumb up it, and make, leave a comment. I'll pick two random people. I will give you this course for free. And if not, I would just buy it. It's only 11 bucks. But I just wanna kinda drum up a little bit more comments on this video because uh, you know I've been missing your guys' thoughts and opinions. So let me know. Thank you, I appreciate it, take care. Adios.